Are you gonna kiss? Oh, thank you. Want some raspberry? He wants to do everything with me. Everything I eat, he wants to try. Everything I drink, he wants to try. Happy! He recognizes his name. Good boy. If he's mad at me, he will tell me. How do you do that? I do. I love him. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Okay, come. Good boy. He changed my life. I found him on May 6th last year, pecking something on the street, but he was about a day old. This is how small he is. Like, this is my pinky. His little head was bleeding, and he had a big scab on his nose. Dropping my little buddy. Hi, buddy. Two days later, she called me and said, he's not releasable. The vet took a look at him. We're going to have to euthanize him unless someone wants to adopt him. I was there in 45 minutes, and I picked him up. Two weeks later, my dog died, and it devastated me. I was feeling so low, and this little guy, every 20 minutes of every day, gave me a purpose. Oh, boy. I had to feed him. I had to keep him alive. It was the most magical, amazing experience. He's been with me for a year now. Okay. Good boy. He's like a curious puppy. Don't wipe your face on my glasses. I just washed my face mask. He snuggles and he wants me to pet him. <laughs> and if I don't, he pushes my finger like a dog would push your hands. He's not releasable because when he was a baby, his beak was covered in a big scab. It ate away at his top beak and his sinuses. And the reason why I can actually legally keep him is because he's a non-native species to California. <gasps> oh, you got me good. He can feed himself. He developed this technique where he goes to the side instead of going straight down. So he has figured a workaround for his disability. His beak goes up like this, which is why he's named Happy, because he looks like he's always smiling. <laughs> he likes to say hi to anyone who comes in the house. <laughs> I know. I have to trim his beak and he really doesn't like it. So if I take too long doing it, he gets really mad at me. He'll fly around me and be like, meh, 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 literally like, telling me off. He's also built a nest. I had a hoodie on one day and he was pulling on the hoodie string. He wanted the string for his nest, so I cut my new hoodie string. You're welcome, buddy. You're so proud of it. And he tries to woo me into his nest every day. Every day he tries. He's like, come on. Is this bedtime? He puts himself to bed at night, which is super cute. Good night. But if people are here, he doesn't want to miss the action, so he'll try and put himself to bed in my hair. Sparrows are much smarter than I ever thought they were. Do you want a worm? Good boy. Who's <laughs> crying? He shows different a range of emotions. He shows feelings. The longest in captivity was like 21 years. 